Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you episode 8 of Fallout 4 Console Mods of the Week. This week's mods include two new weapons as well as some improvements to player customization. This is a series where I go over the best console mods of the week and quickly showcase them. Currently, I'm only showcasing Xbox mods because PS4 ones have yet to arrive. I highly recommend that you check out my previous mods of the week videos if you haven't already. One last thing is that I'm going to be giving an announcement slash update about this series at the end of the video. And so for those of you who really like this series and thank you again for supporting it, make sure to check it out. But for now, I'll get straight into the mods. My first mod this week is Vibrant Eyes by Clearance Clarence. This mod is really simple, but it adds a lot to the game. It essentially just reskins the current eye colors and makes them look a lot more vibrant. Overall, this is a great mod. However, one downside may be that the eyes don't really look that realistic. However, for those of you who like aesthetics, I recommend this mod. My next mod this week, also by Clearance Clarence, is Immersive Mouth and Teeth. For those of you who like immersion, this mod is perfect for you. Specifically, I went for kind of like a meth addict kind of look for my teeth because I'm pretty sure there aren't too many dentists left in the Commonwealth. My first weapon mod this week is the Magnum Revolver Rifle by the Rizzler. This mod adds a really interesting gun into Fallout 4. As its name suggests, it's really like a long revolver. It is fully customizable and it's actually a really cool weapon and I think it fits into Fallout 4 in some way. For those of you who like heavy weapons, I recommend that you get this mod because while it is different, that's what sets it aside from other weapons. In combat, it does ridiculous amounts of damage but is pretty slow. And so, for those of you who also like snipers, I recommend that you also give this a try. My final mod this week is the 5-7 by Sud Nero. The reason why I chose a second weapon mod this week was because there weren't very many good armor ones or settlement ones. But this is one of the best pistol mods that I have ever seen. The pistol itself looks amazing and you can tell that there has been a lot of detail put in to the design. And as with every good weapon mod, it is fully customizable and brings in some new unique attachments into Fallout 4. It doesn't do that well in combat because it takes a lot of shots to kill somebody. This is only a minor issue that I can look over, but for those of you who really like high damage pistols, then this probably isn't the one for you. I still recommend it though because the detail on the gun itself is amazing. Okay, so that is it for the mods this week. Now I mentioned earlier that I had an announcement, and basically being completely honest with you guys, I don't know if I should continue this series. Even though a bunch of other YouTubers make Mods of the Week videos, I still get a ton of support on mine. I realize that some of you really like this series because, you know, I kind of just show you some mods that are out there and then you can decide which ones that you want to get. Some people in the comment section have genuinely thanked me for helping them choose which mods to get. And the support from you guys is what makes it kind of hard for me to bring this up. The main reasons why I want to discontinue this series is because, first of all, it's kind of a lot of work. I realize this sounds kind of weird because my last few console mods of the week videos are only like two to three minutes long. Even the shortest mods of the week video could take 45 minutes to record, then another hour or another hour and a half to upload and edit. Because this series can take so long, it can sometimes take away from other things that I try to do on YouTube. An example right now would be that I want to get a, another Breaking Fallout 4 video up, but and I was planning on making that today and having it ready to go for tomorrow, but now because I've spent so much time on this, it looks like I really won't have time unless I want to stay up late. And on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I am really busy with volunteering and I really can't stay up late working on YouTube. The other reason that I wanted to stop this series is because it started to kind of become like a chore. When I reach a point where all the videos I make feel like chores and it, I make videos just because I have to and like I need to make a video and I just make a video for the sake of producing something, then 
that's probably a time when I would stop doing YouTube. Back when I used to make NHL videos, I eventually reached that point, and that's why I decided to rebrand into Cheesy Gaming, and now I've kind of found my forte. I love making Fallout videos, and the support that I see is overwhelming, and so I definitely won't stop anytime soon. But when I'm reviewing the same mods over and over again, it kind of feels boring, because there really aren't that many standout mods. And so I have some ideas that I'll tell you guys right now. This is kind of going on a bit too long, so I'll hurry it up. But I also want your input down below. One thing I could do is replace this series with mod showcases where I show really interesting mods that I like every week. In a way, I'd still be doing stuff similar to what I do here, but at least this way, I'd be having a lot more fun. Instead of just seeing like weapon mods and stuff, you guys could be seeing really cool mods like the Rapture one I just showcased. Another idea I had was to postpone this series until PS4 mods are released. When they come out, it could give the series a bit of revival. So let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching up until now. And for those of you who've watched every single episode, I really want to hear your input. Or maybe this is your first episode. I just, I'm open to any suggestion. And so feel free to let me know. And thank you guys for watching once again. Uh, make sure to check out my other ones if you haven't already to get a good idea of whether I should continue the series. Uh, also make sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys later. Bye.